Okay, so let's find slope and deflection at the free end of a cantilever beam. Uh, let's take here constant. Now I'll be using the unit load method. Okay, so in the case of the unit load method, see uh, where we want the deflection. So we need to apply a unit load over there. Uh, for deflection, we will apply unit force. For uh, slope, we will apply unit moment. So, this is the procedure. So, what I will be doing it. So, let's write for the cantilever beam. One more cantilever beam with the unit load 1 kN at B. Okay. So, this is the 3 meter. So, unit load at B. Now, to find the slope, I need to apply one more unit load at uh, B, uh, but it is a unit moment. So, we need to apply unit moment at here. So, I am not giving the uh, uh, unit for this one. So, it's a, since it's a unit load. Okay. B. Now, uh, as per unit load method, so according to the unit load method, deflection or the slope so will be given by delta b if i'm writing is equal to integration so it is m m1 divided by ei into dx so it is m m ei into dx so what is indicate is m is the strain and bending moment in the beam due to the applied load small m is the bending moment in the beam due to the unit load so let's uh, solve in a table of form so what i'll do it i'll write a table of form here so i've written the equations now we can write a table of form uh, portion portion i'll be going with a single region here so it's a very simple region ba uh, one more thing uh, since it is a uh, UDL so single equation is uh, applicable from B to A. I'll directly using single span here. So if I'm having a point load here, so you we need to split it. Wherever we have a point load, we need to split it. So procedure is same like a strain energy uh, or even uh, caustic glue there. Okay, now let's go for this portion B. A. Uh, origin is B. EI is there is no change EI okay uh, EI now integration range limit so I'll apply the limit here so it is 0 to 3 okay so limit is 0 to 3 now M so capital M bending moment at any distance X from B so bending moment at any distance X from B is uh, it is uh, since it is uh, uh, UDL so it is uh, 10 into x into x by 2 so it is 5x squared so I'll give a sign convention minus because it is the hogging so for the same procedures of uh, caustic loans and the strain energy so hogging is uh, negative sagging is positive we'll be using the sign conventions okay now here I have a uh, two task is given one is to find the deflection one is to find the slope so there are two unit load is applied so i'll give the m small m with the two part one is small m1 and next one is m2 small mn is uh, bending moment at resistance x so this is what is the answer minus x okay and uh, capital small m2 is one throughout the beam it is one so we are we are completed it um, uh, let's solve it now. We'll solve it with the integration part. Uh, okay. We'll go for it. So, what is the answer? Therefore, next write down uh, deflection at B. So, delta B is equal to what is the answer? Integration 0 to 3. So, the answer is M M1 by EI DX. So, substitute the values of here. So, let's substitute the values. Delta B is equal to uh, 0 to 3. M is minus 5X square and uh, minus. Uh, here, one more thing. So, minus 1. I forgot to write minus 1 there. 
because it's a hogging same sign convention so what is happening both are minus m and m2 both are minus so i'll write phi x cube okay so after multiplying e i dx so answer is so okay, one not one point two five by yeah so it's a very simple method unit load method it's a simplified form now let's find the slope slope at b so what do you know slope at b delta theta b is equal to integration 0 to l m m2 by m m2 by e i into dx e i into dx now what is happening here 0 to 3 m is uh, both so answer is 5x square by e i into dx so x square it will be so if you solve it we'll get it 45 by 